Hi everyone, today I have this Kia Sportage 2012 and I'm going to show you how to inspect the smart key system or push button start uh, on this car. Uh, I have the Kia KDS right here. So this scan tool is basically the dealer's scan tool. Uh, you can find these options, everything I say today, you can find it on the dealer's scan tool or some other aftermarket scan tools as well. There are some other videos on the channel for uh some other scan tools that can do the uh, same job as well so basically i have all the options here first of all i need to select the car uh if you want to go directly for a smart key management you can select this option software management if you want to read the code you can select the code from here so dtc is for reading the code and here is for data analysis so if i go for dtc analysis you can select the car from here obviously you can select it from here all the cars uh, model year and the engine type is just right here and after selecting your car you can select the systems so all the systems all the possible systems for this car are listed here so engine transmission uh, brake system airbag aircon four-wheel drive EPS and all others are here so basically if you want to work on push button start system you need to select SMK or smart key because basically emo immobilizer function is for those cars with a mechanical key but because this car has push button and start you need to select a smart key and select okay all right as you see i don't have any fault code uh if you want to go for software management you have all other options here actuation test software management i go for software management and there you go we have all the options here first of all system identification is going to give you all the information about smart key control unit you see the vehicle name part number if you want to order the part number if you want to order the new part the smart key control module you can grab the part number from here and some other information that you might need the second one is uh, antenna status check if you click on here so basically on a smart key system we have multiple antennas low frequency and low frequency antennas on different locations on the car uh door handle driver door handle inside the driver door handle inside the passenger door handle uh, i have two uh, under the center console one uh inside the rear bumper and one inside the trunk area so basically, it depends on the type and version of a smart key system as well. So here you see uh, all uh, antennas here are listed. And for inspection, first of all, I need to make sure the ignition switch is off. And if you have any fob key holder, you, you want to make sure that the fob key or this one is not inside the holder. So I turn the ignition switch off and I go for, okay. right so you need to select the antennas from here interior antenna interior one and two uh, are actually those antennas uh, in front of gear shifter and behind the gear shifter all right so if I go for so if I go for interior antenna two I have the instruction look at fob key at interior antenna two area so I just put it just right here and then go for okay it has been completed means the antenna is working properly but if that antenna is not working properly you will have test failure here so if you have test failure uh, it means that antenna is not working properly if you have it has been completed like right now it means the antenna is working just fine and if I go for for example for a driver door handle antenna I need to open the door and hold uh, again, my fob key uh, next to the driver door handle, and uh, that's gonna be it. I need to select OK, and it will uh, be working properly. Just uh, it's gonna be that easy to do the same job. Let's see the other options. Serial communication line check. If you click on this one, all right. In here, I have these options. 
uh, the ESCL communication and receiver communication because on a smart key system we have ESCL which is electronic steering column lock for locking the steering wheel and uh, a receiver or RF receiver is actually for receiving the signal or frequency from your uh, fob key so by performing the serial communication line check we are actually going to inspect the communication line between any of those two components that I just mentioned and the smart key control module. Again, you want to make sure the ignition switch is off. Go for OK. And you can select between these two options. I go for receiver communication. All right, again, FOB key is out of holder. Ignition switch is off and I press OK. Again, I have, it has been completed. If I had test failure, it means the communication between receiver and uh, a smart key control module is not working properly. So it basically, if you have a failure or any fault on the communication line between receiver and the smart key control module, you won't be able to lock or unlock the door with this one, and you won't be able to uh, perform the passive lock or unlock because uh, because RF receiver is not able to send the signal received from here to a smart key control module. All right, next one is neutralization mode. Ignition switch off, engine off. So as you see, I have only three options, e ECM, smart key control module and ESCL. So I can neutralize any of these, uh, these ones. And normally you don't need to do the neutralization even if you are trying to register any switch. Uh, sometimes when I try to swap any part from here, from this car to the other one, I can neutralize it from here and register the new key over there. And neutralization is super easy. You need to select your option, all right? For example, this one. And then the only thing you need is when ignition switch is off, you need to enter the pin code, which normally you use it for uh teaching a new key all right so that pin code will be used here as well so you can use very same pin code for neutralization so the moment that in, i enter the pin code and press ok neutralization will be completed and i can swap that component from this car to the other one but normally as i said yeah when you try to register a new key you don't need to uh, neutralize the component we have a smart key status information if you click on that one so you can see the smart key status and uh, ignition switch must be on engine off if i press ok so you see two keys are learned and a smart key status is learned all right so if this one was neutralized it means you need you needed to register a new key and if this one is virgin it means your smart key is just brand new and uh it's uh, it's not registered on any car before. The other one is ESCL status information, just this one. This one is going to read the electronic steering column lock status and it's going to give the information to you. So again, ignition switch on. If I press OK, so I can see ESCL uh, enable status is off because it's not working right now. It's unlocked because my ignition switch is on and it's normal. So there is nothing. So the moment that ESCL gets locked, you will have locked option here. And normal is, it means it's already learned. If you have neutralized here or virgin, you must perform uh, registering a new key. So FOB key status information. Uh, ignition switch off, engine off, I turn the ignition switch off and I go for OK. So it's normal and it's unlocked, all right? And if I grab my FOB key and if I lock the door, you see a status, uh, you see a FOB key status changed to lock and if I unlock it, it's back to unlock. All right, then I have ESCL open status check. So 
So ignition switch off, fob key out. I go for OK. So we start the test, ignition off and remove the fob key from the key holder. All right, OK. It has been completed. <coughs> it's actually confirming that ESCL is unlocked and is working properly. So I have two other options. Uh, Smarty code saving is actually for registering a new key. So if I click on a Smarty code saving, you can use this option for registering a new key. Uh, ignition switch must be off. If I turn it off, uh, you need to select OK. And the only thing you need to have is the pin code. So as you see, ignition switch off, insert key to teach. So here's the fob key holder. I need to find the fob key holder and put the fob key inside the fob key holder to register new key. And if I press OK, so as you see, the only thing I need to do is to enter the pin code and press OK, and that's going to be it for registering a new key. You see, registering a new key on the Kia is not that much hard. You only need to have the scan tool and the pin code, and that's going to be it. And the last option, current fob key check. Uh, engine off. So I need to put the fob key inside the holder, which is already there. All right, ignition off. Insert the key to the holder and press OK. Test completed. This key successfully learned. So this, it means. By doing this is actually I'm confirming that this key is already learned and uh, it's working properly. All right, everyone. Uh, this was the procedure to inspect uh, the smart key on Kia Sportage. This procedure is applicable to all Kia and Hyundai vehicles. The same procedure. You can use other scan tools to do the job as well. You just need to make sure that the scan tool has the same software. Uh, so as I said, you can perform the neutralization and teach a new key uh, as well or inspect the function of all other components too. Thank you very much for watching.